I want to talk about removing distractions from your life. Um, you have your mobile phone, you have your emails, you have things that you don't need going on constantly in your face. Facebook's a prime example. Just, you get emails telling you that somebody's looked at your profile or something. It's all nonsense. You don't need it. It's not helping you. It's wasting your time. Emails, I would set to every three hours. Um, simply, nothing's going to happen that major if you don't read it for three hours. And when people are aware you don't respond to things for three hours, they adapt to it. They will know that you're not going to read to it, read it straight away. So they will send it um, and then just wait. And the same goes for the telephone. When people know that unless it's important, don't bother you, they won't bother you. Um, text messages can be the same. What I do with my phone is, well, I'll tell you what I do. Emails, I set for three hours. Don't read them otherwise. Facebook, I'm getting away from that these days because although um, I've been relaxing the last few days, I'm realizing how garbage Facebook is these days. Um, don't really need it, although I mainly keep it for some people that are only connected through Facebook to me, unfortunately. Otherwise, it would have gone a long time ago. Um, but that was will dwindle down to 20 minutes a day or 15 minutes, simply because it doesn't produce anything productive. Um, not itself. Networking with the people I know and then arranging to meet them in person <laughs> is productive. But the, the software itself, I could do it all via emails. Um, my mobile phone is set for quiet mode, my work phone. Basically between 9 and 5 p.m. and uh, 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. the phone works. After 5 p.m. till 9 a.m. everything goes to voicemail. The reason for that is A, the company isn't paying for that time, but B, it dis, dis, um, disconnects me from my work environment. may not seem too important, you know, what people, you know, someone said, yeah, but what if someone's got an emergency? That's what the on-call is for. It also stops things like people texting you at half past five on a Friday to say they've arranged a meeting for eight o'clock Monday morning in Scotland. Um, and they suddenly thought, I don't want to travel up there on a Sunday for a meeting. I'll get that mug to do it. So they send over a text saying, Oh, uh, can you be in Scotland for uh, Sunday night? Because uh, it'll meet in first thing Monday morning. A uh, little text away. Send, switch their phone off so you can't respond to it. And they're sitting there giving away, thinking, I got out of that one, close that bullet. They're going to have to go up. If your phone's off, they can't do that. But that is a multifold issue because what happens is you go what's this text it's friday friday night you're looking forward to going out with the wife looking forward to a nice chinese restaurant blah 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 <sighs> you know gotta go it's got it's got on sunday now so it's ruined friday night saturday you're thinking oh, i really don't want to go there someday and then on sunday you're driving up there so monday for work you're already re irritated but it's already cost you your weekend don't do it. Just switch your phone off. And if you don't turn up to the meeting, guess what? Who's in the right and who's in the wrong? Didn't receive the message. Well, I sent it on Friday. You know, what time did you send it? Half past five. Half past five. Yeah, my phone's off at five o'clock. Oh, well, you know, oh, because um, there's nothing you can do about it. The fact is, you're not supposed to have your phone out after five o'clock because you're not paid to. There's nothing in, I haven't seen anybody's contract that says your phone must be on 24-7. I'm sure there's people out there, but mine doesn't say it. And as such, it's on during working hours only. It's not being unreasonable. It's actually being very reasonable because it's on during what the time you're paid. After that, if the company wants it, they can, they can pay for it if it was agreeable. In all honesty, 
it would never be agreeable, so I would never sign that contract. Um, so, yeah. So you get your mo mobile so that you text messages and whatever. Well, for a start, if you get text messages, don't answer them straight away. Just leave them. Well, I do. I've got someone got the answer there. Um, they don't need to be done instantly. If it was so important, they would have phoned. Um, emails leave for every three hours because once you get into the, that way of working, you stop picking up your phone to look at them. You start just leaving it to one side and then go, right, it's not downloading them. And then you get a little flurry of activity when that three hours expires as it updates and go, okay, I've got 15 emails, 10 of them spam, <laughs> five of them uh, don't need to, uh, oh, there's only one of them I need to read. So it brings back your time. Because these distractions are very important because I think it's related to people's um, attention spans. Because you'll get working, some people are working on something they don't like doing, they're tapping away at the keyboard. Like, doo -doo. Oh, I've got a text message. Stop, go and have a look at that, distracted. Think, oh, I'll go and have a cup of tea now. And then I'll come back, half an hour's gone. Lost half an hour of productive time. Okay, they might be entitled to a cup of tea or whatever. But if they didn't get that distraction, would they have finished what they were doing? Possibly. And would that have been better? Yes, because if they didn't stop halfway through, where now they have to read over what they did to find out where they had stopped to start and get going again. So that's one example. Another example is with that three hour window um, where you're not getting things bother you, you can start to think, all right, I'll do my college course or whatever. And you've got nothing that will bug you until you, you focus on what you're doing. So nobody's going to distract you. You do that course, do it, you know, sit there, do all your uh, thesis or whatever you're doing for your three hour time period. And then you go, okay, now I'll check my emails. Maybe go on Facebook for five minutes. Da -da -da. It's like a little reward for yourself. Often it's not a reward in work because if you have your emails, it's not the can of worms with the more work coming in. Um, but the fact is, Managing your time better means that you will, you'll actually um, be more productive because you're not being distracted with all these little things going on. That don't need doing straight away. Um, but also, like I said, if you have your work phone, 9 to 5, whatever, as soon as that clock hits 5 p.m., you can forget about work. It's not connected to your life after 5 until 9 in the morning because now it's your time. Anybody that's important can have your uh, personal number as long as it's unrelated to work. Um, for example, I, I've got engineers and stuff that have my private number, um, but they would never call me unless there was actually a complete meltdown <laughs> or it wasn't related to work. For example, say somebody's calling me about um, a birthday party or something. So, because you need to have that separation. Alright, thanks for watching.